So if you're going to use Vim full-time, one feature you absolutely have to have is an easy way to see the files in a project. Of course, a tree view can work for that. Another feature though that's really nice here is something that I've grown accustomed to with Visual Studio Code, and that's the ability to do something like Control P here. I can then open up a little fuzzy finder, and inside of here I could type in Lua, and I can find one of my Lua files, the init.lua for nvim. I can now go ahead and edit this file, and then maybe I need to edit and change a different file. Control P again here. I can then put in something like wcl.py, open that up. So it's always nice to have a way to quickly be able to jump between different files. Otherwise, if you have to exit out of them every time and then put in the path to the next file, that's going to be a major pain in the butt. And so you're just not going to use Vim that much outside of maybe just single changes to a single file. But if you have something like this here, that's a lot like VS Code, you can easily find your files. And the extension that provides this, which by the way, I've configured this a little bit, so maybe it's not familiar to you based on the interface, but this is using Telescope. And so the neat thing is Telescope is not just for searching files. They have pickers for like 40 different things out of the box. And there are dozens of extensions to add on top of that. So for example, instead of files, well, maybe I want something like VS Code's command palette. And so I could do control shift P. That's the shortcut I set up here. I can now search through all the commands that are available. And so inside of here, maybe I'm looking for the peak command, which is a markdown preview, or maybe I want to grab the status of tree sitter modules. Don't quite remember what it is, but I could search for TSM here, or maybe I don't know the beginning of the command. Well, in that case, I know it's an info command. I could narrow down that way. There's COC info, invoke that. But it gets better. It's not just files and commands. If I invoke this a different way, actually, I'll do it here in the command bar down below. I'll put in telescope. And that's all I'll put in. I'll hit return here. This will open up a picker of pickers. And of course, you can fuzzy find on these as well. For example, if I want to narrow this down just to get pickers, I can look at get files, or maybe I want to look at get status. I can see the changes that have been made here. You can see in this particular file over on the right, I've added some new lines. I can up arrow here and take a look. I've got a new file here. So maybe I need to add that. So that's for git. If I invoke that again here, maybe I've got a problem with highlighting. Well, I could pull open a picker for highlights. And now I can see the various different highlight rules that are being applied. So this is a very convenient way to be able to pick through tables of information, open up files, run diagnostics, invoke commands, you name it. And of course, the layout is customizable, as you saw a moment ago. I can also split the screen here, and you can see it resizes automatically. In this case, it's using a vertical layout. Whereas if I full screen here, it's got the horizontal layout. And in this case, it shows a preview on the right. And then the documents are over on the left, or in this case, the matches are over on the left. So it's a nice results versus preview interface. I've also got a different picker set up for grepping. If I want to search throughout all my files, this is basically like a project search here. For example, if I know I have some COC settings somewhere, I could put in COC. Well, okay, that didn't give me any matches, but I have other matches here. Maybe I'm looking for my Docker aliases. I could then open that up, edit those aliases. And if you want to use this, Here's my configuration. Now, please don't feel overwhelmed looking at this. I've added a lot of customizations, just a lot of knobs I tweak to my liking. And so basically I start out with the extension here. It's the MVim telescope extension. This is the repo out on GitHub that you can grab. If you're having any trouble getting this set up, of course you can run the check health on it, pass in telescope. You can check on the various dependencies or things that might be going wrong. And then you essentially just require it to set it up. And then, like I said, I added a lot of customizations to change the layout defaults, to change out the layout configuration, to make it bigger. So it takes up the full screen here. By default, I think it's about 60% or 70%. I moved it up to, I think, 90 here. And then depending on the picker, you can customize it further. And so the find files picker, the reason that I've got that nice, simple view here is because I customized it. I don't want the preview. I just want to see the file names because when I'm picking a file, I tend to be focused on the file names themselves. That's all I really care about. If I wanted to find a file based on the content, I would use that grep view. All right, so those are some of the settings that you can set. And then, like I said, there are a ton of extensions that add on different sources of data that you can pick through. Oh yeah, I forgot. Here are some of my key mappings here for control P and then down one here, control shift P. And if I scroll further down here, you can see here are some of the extensions I have. For example, the MVim tree, MVim web dev icons. That's what provides the icons for you. So if you like having the icons over on the left of the file name, add that extension, though it is optional. And then I added a different picker here for emoji. So I can scroll through and I can put in happy here, hit return, copy that, paste that, 
So that's a nice way to pick through another source of data. Or added another one here for grepping through help. And then here's one for browsing files. I kind of prefer that tree view that I've set up over on the left here instead. That's a separate extension. So yeah, take a look at this. Let me know what you think of this. Is this something that's useful? Do you have something else that does the same thing? Let me know in the comments down below.